This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the place to go to if you want to set up your own slick looking website or online store. Ride around. Odmo is the new one. So Odmo, 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 Lots 100. Lots of Osmo. I think that's in about 100 years probably. Mm, that way. Okay, I'm going to try and keep up with you. Action cameras haven't evolved a great deal over the years, even down to the way it looks. The Action 2 is quite a monumental change. Oh, so that's the DJI Action 2 and the Action 1 over here, testing them out. It's pretty cool, the new one, because it's really tiny compared to the old one. There's the old one, there's the new one. It packs it all in in a lighter, smaller space. I've got an ultra wide at the minute so you should see lots and lots of stuff. Lots of background. One day we could make a video of me. Okay, you want to be a YouTuber? Yeah. Yeah? What kind of thing do you want a YouTuber about? Toys. Toys. An American football. An American football? Oh, wow. Ah. Oh, it's a big bump. Well, the interesting thing with the new actions that's taken on new form factor, usually a lot of action cameras, they just look like a GoPro. This a GoPro. GoPro, no to GoPro. This looks totally different as you can see right here. And as you could have guessed without me needing to tell you, there aren't many physical features on the camera itself. It's got a lens, it's got a hole for letting sound go in, it's got a hole for letting sound come out and a square screen. So that means if you're taking video of it, the live view feed is sandwiched between two black bars which have been handily filled with information, settings, etc, etc. And then on its butt, it has got eight dots, not to make its undercarriage more visually appealing, but so it can connect to this thing right here. Now this bottom bit has another screen. It's got a micro USB port, and then it's got micro SD slot, and it all looks rather exposed, and that's because it doesn't like getting wet, unlike the head, which is waterproof to 10 meters. So it doesn't mind getting his head wet, but it doesn't like getting the bottom bit wet, which is kind of the opposite of me when I go swimming. It's a bit reminiscent of the Insta361R, but the camera module functions like a worm, split it apart, and the head will still operate like normal. For water protection, there's a case. But unlike my gluteus maximus, this is perfect for selfies because it's got a screen facing towards you. This one works a treat for vlogging. The screen is always on so you can see your face while you're filming yourself. And the good thing is that there's less lag than with the old Osmo action. But it's not just the form factor that has changed, it's also the mounting system. I mean, usually it's the standard GoPro screw it in kind of mounting system. The screw method works. There's lots of action cameras that use it, and that also means that you can use all manner of action camera accessories from expensive ones to cheap, crappy ones on Amazon. The only thing is, you have to remember to take those screwy things out with you. So if you forget to bring them, your accessories are pretty much useless. Now it's all magnets and stuff. I get the feeling that DJI love magnets. Well, they've just found out about magnets. It makes things like this really quick, like that doesn't fall off because it clamps into place and also when you want to add accessories to it like that The old action has a 145 degree field of view. This one has a 155 degree field of view. It is noticeably wider, that is for sure. What is also noticeable is the image quality. This has a bigger sensor than the action and also the GoPro Hero 10. So even in daylight, when I would have thought there would be less of a difference, you can see it. There you go. That's me facing the sun. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> And also when backlit, it does suffer from less shadow noise as well. Cameras are side by side. This is how it compares. It's on ultra wide right now. One thing I didn't try out is the 4K 120, which matches GoPro Hero 10's 4K Max output, although it doesn't do 5.3K. Rocksteady is still really good with the old action, and you can't say that the stabilization is significantly better with the new one. Although they say it has been improved, it does however now have built-in horizon correction, which makes it same same as the Hero 10 too. Using on everything. Do you want to play a game? Okay. You want to pretend you're a grown up? Yeah. Okay. For the whole day. What do grown ups do? What? What do I play you? We 
you want to work me? Dad, let me film him. It's a bit darker the screen on this one, isn't it? Yeah. You want this one? <laughs> Try and use the screen on the original Osmo Action. GoPro! In bright sunlight, it's quite difficult sometimes. <laughs> Your trike is called GoPro? Yeah. Alright. It's unfortunate. Let's follow the bike, shall we? Yeah. Let's go. We're filming the bike. Filming some bike action. In terms of sound, when you've got the bottom bit attached, you've got four stereo mics. The internal mic, it sounds like this. Start all the way from school. I mean, there's not a huge discernible difference between the new one Wait. and the old one. Wait. <laughs> Maybe the vocals are a little bit easier to pick out on the Action 2 versus the old Osmo Action. <laughs> YouTube is great. But then it seemed like the Action 2 picked up a little bit more on the wind noise. But if sound is an issue, they've introduced this thing. It's a wireless mic. They're getting into wireless mics. A two-channel wireless mic with a charging case, which seems to be all the rage these days. There you go, that's the other mic there. And uh, yeah, it connects via USB-C or lightning connector. And that's the sound you've been hearing throughout when I'm talking to you right here. Has it been nice and silky smooth? What is that vibrating? It's my phone. Go away. Blobber number two in action. Blobber number two. In action. Blobber number two. Blobber is the name of the bike. I like filming. Let's follow him. Where is he going? Right in front of you. Blow coach. <laughs> Hit your bottom. What can I say? It's fun for the family, for vlogging with and for action. The form factor is not only intriguing but is welcome due to the far lighter weight and the quick accessory changing system. Only time will tell if this proves more popular and more secure than the old system. The only thing is, is that you might have to rely on the old method if you want a greater choice of accessories. Also, although the smooth metal surface makes it feel a bit more premium, it might be a bit more slippery when wearing gloves. But still, although the one I have has already been dropped and scratched, the screens and lens cover are great glass so they haven't been smashed to smithereens and the very important thing is the image quality with the bigger sensor and also with the stabilization it means you get a cleaner more stable result which is a result youtube is great this video is in fact sponsored by Squarespace. If you want to set up your own domain, online retail space or website, it's super simple to get started and make your next move with Squarespace. With an easy to use interface filled with loads of templates and backed up with 24 seven customer service. You can try it out with a 14 day free trial and get 10% off your first order with this link and discount code.